Hello everyone, my name is Genetic Computer Man, and today we are playing Life is Strange Before the Storm, Episode 2. Finally, um... Miss Price, how good of you to join us. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner, and then... Just... Sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Black Wilt Upon... A foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that okay. respect is violated. Okay. Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Oh, heck no. Uh, <coughs> don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We... In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top <laughs> students. Victoria Chase. Academic <coughs> goals like doing her own homework because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism. Excellent suggestion. Stricter punishment for students who violate <coughs> the code of conduct is next on our agenda. <coughs> for her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Chloe, you tried to get someone suspended? I mean, it was Victoria, so. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf. And we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident oh. with the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> if involved means not sticking out my neck for Blackwell's richest ass child, I didn't realize that was a crime. Your lack of awareness does not absolve you of anything. Chloe, bullying? Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. Why? Because he's on a sports team? Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission. Sorry. And yet, even with your disciplinary record, Mr. Why is it cutting like that? We needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It You're getting kicked out. Are you stupid? I'm... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I need to do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. <laughs> this, but I wouldn't listen. <coughs> See, I was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> caught up in it, Chloe. You allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Heck no. Oh, Frick you. that. You didn't do anything. Your willingness to stand by me, even now, is truly inspiring. Chloe, is this true? Oh my goodness! It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price.
fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. <laughs> Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. You better call him. You better call him out. You better call him out. Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or trick her? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, thank God. Mrs. Price, what the heck? This revelation may color the situation some, but it in no way absolves your daughter. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, oh my goodness. I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this point. <coughs> But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. Victoria Chase. Oh my God! How fitting. Yes. I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? I knew what I was going to say. Is upset <coughs> friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. I'll be at a big decision. Go along with Rachel. Take the blame. Ah, oh, dang, this is hard. Do I go along with Rachel? Do I take the blame? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness! I want to take the blame, but she's already said... She already took the blame. <coughs> if, I, if I take the blame now... It's just gonna be even worse because then she lied. Screw it. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. That's what I was thinking too. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Oh shoot, hold up, hold up, I gotta drink my gotta get my apple juice. Uh get your head out of your ass, Wells. Oh, you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? I'm not calling her a truther. Confess she's an act. You should confess. Hmm. Wells, you should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. How about you don't take credit for my shit? Mm -hmm. You don't see me claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. <laughs> Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing. 
I found <coughs> <that> <coughs> you clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed. Hey, we did it. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now you are expelled. Called that one. What? No. I will skip Matthews, escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price, Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. You got you better call him on that. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. For real? <coughs> That's funny. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Supposed to be music, so it's just awkward at this point. <coughs> I like that. <coughs> yeah. This is where we die in the last game. It's gotten break. Brave New World, here we go. <laughs> I'm actually going to end that episode there because we are getting to that, like, we're past the 20 minute mark. Um, started episode two, at least, I guess. I don't know, man. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to find out when we upload that next video because who knows? <coughs> Boy. 
All right, well, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.